Hey guys, Mr. Myas is here, and this is a 2 2 B. We're going to spin around here. 2 2 B for essentials of calculus. We're going to talk about limits at infinity. So, by the end of this, you should know how to take the limit as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. So, let's take a look here at what we're doing. There we go. All right, so if the graph of a function approaches a horizontal asymptote to the left or to the right, that function has a limit at infinity. So, the asymptote y equals l then would have a limit as x approaches infinity, f of x equals l. So, in other words, the limit at infinity gives us n behaviors of the graph. For large, large, large values of x, the highest degree terms in the numerator and the denominator dominate the other terms and are the only terms that you really need to consider. So we're going to use a little trick here where we look at what the highest uh, what the highest degree when we're dealing with large values of x. So um, let's do some review examples here. We're doing um, back in pre-calc anyway. Oh my gosh. You probably don't see it, but there's a fly ho hovering around my, my head here, and it's, uh, it's bugging me. It's a bug. What do you know? So the horizontal asymptote here for f of x equals 5x to the 4th minus 3x squared plus 2 over 10x to the 4th plus 3. We don't really need to look at these guys. All right. Really what dominates is this part here. And since these are the same powers, then we're just going to say y equals 5 tenths is my horizontal asymptote. Well, 5 tenths reduces down to y equals 1 half. So I'll change that to y equals 1 half. All right, so that is my horizontal asymptote. That's the rule that if the uh, power, oh my God, sorry guys, this is bugging. You're going to laugh at this later. But um, if the powers are the same, the degrees are the same, highest degree, then we're just going to take the coefficients, all right? So here on number seven, if the degree on the bottom, we don't really need these, right? If the degree on the bottom is bigger than the one on the top, all right, then this is going to go to, this is going to get larger and larger and larger, faster than this one does. And so this is going to go to zero. And my horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. So this is the little over big rule. Okay, the little over big rule. And then this one here is the big over little rule. And the big over little rule means that if uh, the degree is bigger on top than it is on bottom, then there is no horizontal asymptote. No ha! <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at these down here. These are limits. So limit as x approaches infinity, whenever we see x approaching infinity, we know that it has to do with the end behavior and the horizontal asymptote. So what's going to happen? Well, we don't need to consider these guys, and we only need to look at the end here, and we get 1 half, because notice it's the same thing right and these powers are equal so we only need the uh the uh coefficients all right well what about here as x approaches negative infinity negative positive it's not going to make a difference here for these horizontal asymptotes in this case right in this case later on we'll see when it does when we need a little bit of sign analysis we don't need these guys we don't need these guys this one's getting bigger faster than this one is so this is going to go to zero see notice here same thing all right, same thing here. We've got a bigger one here than we do a little one, and this is going to go to infinity or negative. This is going to go to infinity. We can say it goes to infinity, or we can just say it does not exist. All right, or you can write it as infinity. All right, the top's going to get faster than the bottom. Make sure you consider the highest degree terms, not the highest degree factors. So let me show you what, what I mean by that. Notice here that these are all factored, right? So if I just take this part, this is the first part that's going to give me an x squared. This first part is going to give me a 2x. I don't care about all this other stuff here because it's not those, those terms aren't really going to make a difference. So really all I'm looking at is 2x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. There are other things there in that polynomial. This one is going to give me a 9x squared and an x, and that's going to give me 9x cubed plus dot, 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 dot. And I'm looking at the limit as x approaches infinity of this. I don't really need all these guys, right? I only need the highest degree. 
of the polynomial. So then since they're the same, my answer is going to be 2 ninths. That's all there is to limits and infinity. Pretty nice, right? Now, sometimes um, we don't get easy rational functions, all right? Those were pretty easy rational functions. Sometimes we get radicals in them or other types of functions. So those are easy to deal with because as you, you approach uh, infinity or negative infinity, you know it's just one horizontal asymptote. But sometimes you might have uh, two horizontal asymptotes like in these cases. So here's what you got to do in this case. So when you have a square square root or a root, you're just going to take you're going to take this part right here, all right? So that's going to be the square root of 4, which is 2, and the square root of x squared, which is the absolute value of x. And over x, all right? All this other stuff here doesn't really matter. All that matters is the front part. Okay, so now, uh, as this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, Right, like a large number is two over a thousand, two times a thousand is two thousand over uh, over a thousand. Um, these are going to go positive, right? So the x is basically going to cancel out for high numbers of x, for very high numbers of x. So we're going to have a limit that is two, all right? Because this is going to stay positive divided by a positive. Let's take a look at this one. Now this one's same same situation here, except I'm going to negative infinity, right? Let me make this smaller, you can see this. So I'm going limit as x approaches negative infinity, same situation, absolute value of x over x. Now for negative numbers, the top is going to be negative, right? Because it's going to go negative, and the bottom is going to, I'm sorry, the top is going to go positive. This is an absolute value. So if I put a large negative number in, the absolute value of that large negative number is going to be a positive number. So the top is going to be positive. The bottom is going to be negative, which tells me this is going to go to negative 2. So there are two horizontal asymptotes in this case. All right, we're going to have negative 2 and positive 2 because it goes plus minus here. All right, so those are some examples, guys, of using uh, the understanding of horizontal asymptotes to find limits at infinity. So just to recap, in this video, you were to learn about limits at infinity as x goes to infinity or negative infinity. And the easiest way to do those is to understand an idea of horizontal asymptotes. And you don't have to work out too much algebra in this case. All right. All right. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.